It was a bloodbath. You damn right it was a bloodbath. All you had to do, Juliana, was sit back and do business and stop worrying about Rock and Unique so much. I mean, if you really wanted to take out Unique, how about you get the job done yourself instead of always trying to get somebody else to do the job for you? So today, we're remembering your girl, Juliana. It's a damn shame to what happened to your girl, Juliana, right? <laughs> Stay tuned. For you. Seems. But the truth's coming. So you all salty because you got beat. You see what I did here? You know, I could still make partners for you and these f***ing Colombians. I just want to live my life now. Personal for unique? Never was, brother. Hola, mami. Taking care of yourself, my love. You know what? We're gonna call this one even. Unique. After everything that he did to me, to you, he thought you were strong. It's just a move in this game we play. I'm not playing your game. You've chosen to work with the very same man who took your hostage. Like, I don't trust Nick. I never have, I never will. You don't need Unique to build your business. Look, we gonna handle Unique. Can't be pulling the trigger on emotion. It was me. We discovered that there is a way to work together without you, which is better. So angry with me, forgetting with Nick after he grabbed her little ass up. That's what this shit is about. Let's bounce before we say or do something we're going to regret. You should listen to your brother. Fighting above your weight class, Juliana. And when you punching up, it ain't about whether you can throw. It's how you take. We can very easily find out if you have a new supply. If I had a new supply, I'd tell you. Because I sure as hell ain't scared of you. Used to buy new ports from. Hemos terminado con ella, pues. Terminado con ella y mucho más si ella ya terminó con usted. Don't know what my brother did, and it don't matter. If Nick's a problem, we can figure that out. Problems always got solutions. I ain't Nick. Nick's gone, and he ain't coming back. Now we do business. If we do this, it's you and me. Only between us. And no one else can know. How much? I want you to make me feel good. Why, why is the lady from the bodega here? Get your shit and go. It's not good for people to see us together. Enemies are dangerous. Especially when they're family. She going around you, Joaquin. Cut on deal. To me, and now she done it to you. She just needed her man out the way so that she could be her real self. I'll have to confirm what you are saying with my own people before I would give you my approval. This broad who got knocked around by her man and needed me to save her. Joaquin knows I'm here. I can pay you. <gasps> that nobody beat me. I learned from my mistakes, Juliana. So that when I come back, I know how to correct what I the first time around. A correction. No! <laughs> That shit is reason enough for me. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Mark Dark, and I'm back with another video. If you're new, if you love power, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like the video, and leave your theories, comments, everything down below. Now today, we're gonna be talking about Power Book 3 Raising Canaan and we're going to be talking about your girl, Juliana. This is the Remembering Juliana video. And as I told you guys before, it's still some more characters out there that I got to do the Remembering videos for. But today, I had to go ahead and knock out the Juliana video. And it's crazy because at the beginning of the series, we know Juliana, she was struggling. I mean, she was in a very abusive relationship and she needed some help. I mean, her mans was doing entirely too much, but we know Rock, she did not like that. So Rock even told her, look, I got you. If you need me, I got you. So they set up the game plan to get this guy up out of there. And once he was eliminated, Juliana, she started to change a little bit, right? She started to hang around her cousin Joaquin a little bit more. And then we know your boy Unique, he hemmed her up back in season two. 
And this is what basically caused all the issues with Juliana's character because she did not like that. She did not like that Rock did not do anything about it. She felt like it was bad for business and that he disrespected her. Now, I told you guys, realistically speaking, if this would have happened in real life in that time frame, messing around with the Colombians in any way, shape or form, unique, he would have been up out of here. But of course, it's TV. So they got to change some things up. But we know the Colombians were very, very dangerous. Now, of course, Juliana, she went back to her cousin Joaquin to let him know what went down. She did not like the way that Rock was handling business. She did not like that Rock was allowing Unique to do what he was doing. Now, I say this, Juliana, if you got a problem with Unique, how about you take care of the problem? If you feel like Rock ain't doing it, what she told you is just a business thing. She does not trust Unique, but as of right now, she's not going to do anything to him because it's just business. If you felt like he was a threat and that he was doing too much and that Rock ain't getting the job done, how about you go take care of him yourself? You know what I'm saying? Because it seemed like Juliana was dependent on other people to take care of her business. Like, come on, how about you do it? Learn your lesson. He screwed you over, so guess what? You need to get back at him. Don't depend on Rock to take care of it. But that's exactly what she was doing. So she decided to take out her frustrations on Rock and screw her over with the whole Tremont deal. And I told you guys, back in season two, when she made that deal behind Rock's back and pretty much blindsided her, Rock was very pissed off and she told Juliana like look you're out of your way class like what are you doing and it's crazy because once Juliana screwed over Rock all of a sudden she transformed her you know her hairstyle she felt like she was Griselda Blanca she thought she was the truth talking about you can get another plug and all that stuff running her mouth to Marvin talking about you should just listen to your brother I'm like okay so she thinks she big and bad. So right there, I knew Rock was going to have to eliminate her because it seemed like she was not going to let this go. The crazy thing was, Juliana, she still could have survived. I mean, Joaquin told her, you got to worry about her coming back at you. You know what I'm saying? You talking about you going to do something, but you got to worry about Rock coming back at you. Now, in season three, we know Juliana, she ended up making the deal with Ronnie. Ronnie, allegedly at the time, took out Unique, and then he did business with Juliana. Juliana, she was trying to give those cheeks to Ronnie. Ronnie was looking like he was about to lose his virginity when he was hooking up with Juliana. And then all of a sudden, we saw Pernissa, she came in, and man, the look on Ronnie's face was priceless. That boy was shook. It was looking like he just got caught. It was looking like he didn't know what the hell he was doing with a female. Now, we know Pernissa, she was going to be the one that was going to tell Rock that Ronnie and Juliana was doing business. The crazy part about that is we know Joaquin has already told Ronnie, no, I'm not doing business with any of you, especially after everything that's happened with your brother. You think I'm stupid enough to do any type of business with you? Now, Juliana went behind Joaquin's back and did business anyway after he told her to leave it alone. But Juliana, she's so eager to get back at Unique, to get back at Rock, and seeing how somebody else could get the job done for her, that's all she needed. She's like, okay, you can eliminate Unique for me since Rock is not going to do it. And then I can do business with you behind my cousin's back. And once that truth was revealed, we know Joaquin gave Rock the okay to get Juliana up out of here. I mean, you don't screw over family. And as Rock stated, Juliana... She was changing up a whole lot. After her mans got taken out, she felt like she was the big bad wolf that she could not be stopped. I mean, if that's what you think, I guess you will have to find out the hard way that you're all bark, no bite. In the last scene that she had with Rock, Rock gave her you know, a lesson telling her, look, I fix my mistakes. If I take an L, I'll take that L and I will remember that L and I will come back even better and stronger. And when it comes to you, you somebody that I probably should have took out a long time ago. So I guess I'm just correcting a mistake that needed to be taken care of from the jump. And that's exactly what ended up happening. I mean, Juliana really thought she can buy her way up out of this. The crazy thing was she was running her mouth right before uh, Rock shot her, right? She was talking about my cousin will have your head and all this. Like, really? You don't know the conversation she just had with Joaquin. He gave the okay for you to get dropped off. So what you talking about? But that final scene with Rock and Juliana, 
It was a great scene. Patina Miller, once again, she put on an excellent performance. And shout out to Roselle Collin, who plays Juliana. She put on a, a great performance as well. And she has a, a history of playing good characters in TV shows. I remember watching her in The Orange is the New Black. She was a solid character in that show. And then we know in Raising Kanan, she did her thing in that. I really like how they did her character as far as changing because Juliana, if you go back to season one and early season two, it was like a different character, man. And then she just hit a switch once the whole thing with Unique happened and she felt like Rock did not do what she needed to do. Juliana says, screw all that. It is time to change it up. It is time to try it, to at least take over. But that game plan did not go as planned. Her eagerness to get back at Unique and Rock, it was her downfall. And unfortunately, she's up out of here. So today, we are remembering your girl, Juliana. Damn. But you guys, y'all let me know how do you feel about Juliana's character. I'm pretty sure you all predicted that she was going to be up out of here after season two when she decided to basically screw over Rock and thought she was really that girl. But apparently she found out the truth. Now, I want to thank you guys once again for all the love, all the support, and I will catch y'all on the next one. But let me get up on out of here, man. It's your boy Mark Dark. I'm out. Peace.